Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Kenny Choi. If you have a show idea, we would love to hear from you. You could go to facebook.com slash Sunday and comment to the page. Today, we'll have a conversation with the bailiff from the popular running syndicated show, Judge Judy, about his work improving the relationship with police departments and the public. We'll also talk to the executive director of the GLBT Historical Society about his work. But up first, please welcome the author of Seeking Jordan, How I Learned the Truth, about death and the invisible universe. Dr. Matthew McKay, thank you for joining us here this morning. Glad to be with you. So tell me what led to, to writing this book? What happened in your life? Eight years ago, my son, who was then 23, was shot and killed on the streets of San Francisco. He was on his way home from work. And I mean, it, it, needless to say, it was just the worst experience of my life. and. After his death, I wanted to know, I think, the two things that anyone who, when you lose someone you love, uh, you want to know, does that soul still exist? Mm -hmm. And uh, are they in a good place? Are they, are they happy? Mm -hmm. And so I set out to try to make contact with Jordan and answer those two questions. In this book, you, you talk about channeled writing. What is that and how did that lead you to connect with Jordan? Well, channeled writing has been around for thousands of years. It's referred to in ancient texts. And uh, William Butler Yeats wrote a book using channeled writing. And when I learned how to do it, it was amazingly simple. And it is something anybody could learn to connect to those on the other side. Basically, it involves getting in a, a place where you feel comfortable and uh, grounded, mm -hmm. then having something to fix your attention on, like a candle having uh, an object that connects you to the dead, something they owned or something they gave you. In my case, it's a little card that Jordan had printed up when he was in high school. It says, Jordan McKay, CEO, mm -hmm. Omega Technologies. And, and I, I keep that because it reminds me of his, his humor, his audacity, and so I use that. And then you have to get, uh, um, you do something to get yourself in a receptive state. And you can use auto-hypnosis, you can use prayer. Uh, I use a form of meditation, of a positive meditation that just involves focusing on the breath, counting your breath. Mm -hmm. uh, and once you get in a receptive state, hold a, an awareness of that loved one, sort of their essence, uh, or be aware of your love for them, and allow the channel to open. The very last thing you need to do is physically write down your question. What do you need to know? Um, and for me, I just keep a little notebook. I write the question when I feel ready to communicate with Jordan. And very quickly, I experience uh, getting direct answers from him. A few words will show up in the sentence and then a whole string of sentences. And when that's finished, I can ask the next question. And when you talk about that conversation, are you hearing his voice? I'm not hearing his voice as if it's in the room, but I'm certainly hearing the quality or tenor of his voice inside my own consciousness. Mm -hmm. And some of the questions that you asked were answered. All of the questions I've asked were answered. In fact, uh, Jordan has been willing to share with me a lot about uh, why we come here, why we live these difficult lives on earth, uh, what the afterlife looks like. So he's had a lot to say, and so I've been able to not just assure myself that he exists and that he's happy, but he's been able to tell me things about the afterlife that are hidden from us. We have amnesia when we come here, we don't remember the afterlife and he has access to all that knowledge. And are these conversations, conversations that you've had over several years, or are most of the questions answered during that five, 10 minute session that you have or when you're channeled in? I've had hundreds of conversations with Jordan over the years, and many of the conversations form the, uh, the body of the book where he's, uh, he's dictating to me and I'm simply writing down what he's saying. And so, Yes, it's been years and many, many, many conversations. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that Jordan has told me that has mattered most to me and, and has helped me most is, is he talks about what the purpose of life is. Why do we come here? And oddly, we actually come here for how difficult this place is, uh, for, the, for the pain, really. We come here to learn how to love in the face of all of the obstacles, emotional obstacles, physical illness, uh, all of our struggles with each other. Uh, and so we actually come here because there is difficulty here and, and learning is, takes place in a place where you have to face adversity. Uh, in the afterlife, 
there is no adversity. And so a very different kind of learning. So this is a very special place, and we have a kind of a sacred mission here. The book is titled uh, Seeking Jordan, How I Learned the Truth About Death and the Invisible Universe. Dr. Matthew McKay, thank you for joining us and sharing your story. My we appreciate pleasure. It. Uh, for more information about the book, you can log on to SeekingJordan.com. That's SeekingJordan.com. We'll be back with more Bay Sunday after this break.